dear students welcome to the online learning today we will be learning chapter number 1 knowing our numbers topic will be roman numerals so let us begin with our today's topic what is roman numerals roman numerals are a system of numerical notation used by romans they are an additive and subtractive system in which letters are used to denote certain base numbers and arbitrary numbers are then denoted using combination of symbol so the basic symbol that are used by roman to write their numerals were through seven english letters so here i represents one v represents five x represents ten l represents fifty c represents hundred d represents five hundred and m represents one thousand some representation in roman numerals are represented as like i we can represent in roman numeral form by writing capital letter i one time same for two we can write its roman numeral by writing two time i similarly three in roman numeral can be written as like three time i and for other number also like wise this thing will be more clear when we will discuss about the rules to form roman numerals so the rules to form roman numerals are as like the first basic rule roman numerals are read from left to right the larger values to the left and the smaller values on the right its example is cv so here c stands for 100 v stands for 5 so we can see that c is larger value as compared to v so this larger value is present towards left whereas v was smaller than c that is present towards right side and when we talk about the value of cv in hindu arabic system it is equals to 105 similarly when we see the value for lxi it will be equals to 50 plus 10 plus 1 as l is equals to 50 x is equals to 10 and i is equals to 1 so that gives us a value equals to 61 now a second rule a sample can be repeated three times so for three we can write three times capital letter i that means one plus one plus one is equals to three similarly for 30 we can write three times x that means x x x x so this one x represents 10 1x represents value is equals to 10 so 3 times we will add the 10 we will get value is equals to 30 now only i x c and m can be repeated now its fourth rule if a lesser symbol is before a greater symbol then the lesser is subtracted from the greater how is it let us see through the example i v so you can see here i is, is a smaller symbol whereas v is a greater representation i stands for 1 whereas v stands for 5 so here we need to subtract so the value for i v will be equals to 5 minus 1 that is equals to 4 similarly the value for x c will be equals to again here we can see that x is a smaller than c and the value of x is equals to 10 whereas the value of c is equals to 100 so again whenever we see a lesser symbol is before a greater symbol we go ahead with subtraction so 
while subtracting 10 from 100 we have got 90 similarly for cm we have got 900 now the next rule if a lesser symbol is after a greater symbol then the two values are added how is it let us understand through example one by one so vi v stands for 5 i stands for 1 so while adding we will get the value is equals to 6 similarly if we look for getting the value for representation l x x x so here l stands for 50 when we add 50 with 10 10 10 so we got value is equals to 80 similarly if we want to find the value of m c c so here m stands for 1000 c stands for 100 c stands for 100 so you can see whenever a lesser symbol is after a greater symbol so we have to go ahead with addition operation so after adding we have got the value for m c c that is equals to 1200 now let's have fun with the learning through the help of mnemonic we can remember the roman numerals in descending order from value equals to thousand to one representation in descending order can be memorized for the longer time by the use of two words and that two words are medical xavier so in this two words some letters are specifically represented in capital letter that indicates the roman numerals in descending order from thousand to one so in first word medical capital letter m represents the value thousand capital letter d represents the value 500 capital letter c represents the value 100 capital letter l represents the value 50 similarly in the second word xavier capital letter x represents 10 capital letter v represents 5 and capital letter i represents the value is equals to 1 some more rules are there that must be kept in mind while forming roman numerals that first is the number zero did not have its own roman numerals only i x c can be subtracted and v l and d cannot be subtracted now let us understand the conversion of hindu arabic in form of roman numeral so let's apply the rules whatever we have learned just now and see how to convert any question in roman numeral which is present in hindu arabic system so for 100 so for this given example on the screen 1984 we will first break this number in following number 1984 will be splitted in form of 1984 then we will do each values conversion so here 1000 is equals to m as we know then 900 so for 900 children we can apply the rule we can write here 
सी एम सी एम मीन्स वॉट फ्रॉम थाउजेंड वी कैन सब्ट्रैक्ट हंड्रेड सो वी विल अप्लाई हेयर द सब्ट्रैक्शन रूल एंड नाइन हंड्रेड विल बी रिप्रजेंटेड एज लाइक सी एम देन फॉर एटी इट विल बी फिफ्टी प्लस टेन प्लस टेन प्लस टेन सो फिफ्टी मीन्स एल एंड थ्री टाइम्स टेन मीन्स थ्री टाइम्स एक्स सो एटी इज इक्वल्स टू वॉट एल एक्स 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 देन फोर विल बी इक्वल्स टू आई वी नाउ हाउ वी कैन गेट द रिप्रजेंटेशन ऑफ वन थाउजेंड नाइन हंड्रेड एटी फोर इन रोमन न्यूमरल्स दैट वी विल ऑप्टेन बाई एडिंग ऑल द वैल्यूज इन विच we have expanded the complete number so we will add all the number so 1984 will be equals to 1000 plus 900 plus 80 plus 4 that gives us value is equals to 1984 now one by one for each hindu arabic system we will write their roman numerals representation so for 1000 it is m then for 900 it was cm then for 80 it was l and 3 times x then for 4 it was i v so the final representation for 1984 will be as like m c m l x x x i v that you can see through the web made on the screen so children you can see that 1984 first we have done its breaking in small parts then we wrote the expanded form of 1984 and for each value we have written its roman numerals representation then after combining each roman numerals representation we have got the representation for the number 1984 in terms of roman numerals so the roman numerals for some more numbers will be as like for 1550 it will be m d l for 526 it will be 500 plus 20 plus 6 okay so for 500 it will be d for 20 it will be 2 times x and for 6 it will be 5 plus 1 so that is equals to d capital letter x capital letter x v i and for other value it will be as like given on the screen that you can try as we have done it for one example now let's check your learning through philips here you need to fill the given blanks using roman numerals so the questions are as like first question i was born in the year dash your second question is the year in progress is dash your third question is india got freedom in the year dash your fourth question is mahatma gandhi was born on dash your fifth question is our body has dash number of bones now it's time to have some home task prepare a roman numeral chart for numbers 1 to 100 so children i hope whatever we have discussed today you have learnt it and you have understood properly thank you